Welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. Please make sure you like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on future content. So this is a BTEC applied science lesson. It's unit five chemistry, and it looks at the amphoteric behavior of alumina. So there are two learning aims for chemistry in this unit, A1 and A2. And this is an A1 lesson, and it's going to look at the amphoteric behavior of alumina, which is the very first point here. Next video, we'll be looking at, at metal oxides and metal hydroxides. So first thing then is for us to look at some definitions. Definition of acid is a substance that dissociates in water to form H plus ions. Most common examples would be something like HCl, which will dissociate in solution to form H plus ions and Cl minus ions. You may also be familiar with H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid. This will release two H plus ions and a sulfate ion. So we'd actually call H2SO4 a diprotic acid because it's releasing two H plus. HCl would class as monoprotic because it's releasing one H plus. Definition for base. A base is a substance that will react with acids to form salt and water. More on that next lesson when we look at hydroxides and oxides of metal. Often confuses people. Students will often use the terms alkali and base as if they're the same thing. They are not. An alkali is a base that will dissolve in water to form OH- or hydroxide ions. So metal hydroxides tend to be alkalis because they will dissolve in water to release OH- ions. So just to be clear, all alkalis are bases, but not all bases are alkalis. You can only classify it as an alkali if it will dissolve to release hydroxide ions. And finally, amphoteric, which is quite an unusual property. It's when a substance can act as both an acid and a base. Usually it would be classified as either an acid or a base, However, something that's amphoteric, such as alumina, can act as both an acid and a base. So the main aim of this video then is to look at alumina, which is aluminium oxide. Aluminium is in group three, so it's three plus. Oxygen or oxide is in group six. It will form two minus ions. So the formula, the chemical formula for alumina or aluminium oxide is AL2O3. So alumina is actually chemically inert, which means it's very unreactive, except only in certain conditions. So it will react with hot acid or base. So since it reacts with acids and bases, we say it's amphoteric. And here we look at an equation of alumina reacting with HCl, so that would be hot hydrochloric acid. We can simplify that and have H plus, so it doesn't have to be hot hydrochloric acid. That's how it would react with an acid. Remember, an acid is H plus, so we can look at either of those two equations. And I suggest you remember one of those two to show how alumina reacts with acid. And because it's amphoteric, it will also react with bases. In this case, we are looking at hydroxide. Now, you may see in different textbooks and revision guides, you may have different equations for how it reacts with a base. Don't worry, just know one of them. It just depends on conditions. For example, if it's hot hydroxide, we have the second reaction. And if it's not, we have the top reaction. But again, don't learn both of them. Just be aware of one of those two. Finally, we will look at some uses of alumina. Now, it's chemically inert, which means unreactive and therefore that makes it very useful. It's used a lot in fillers, paints, sunscreens and glass. It's also used in chromatography. You may recall from unit two learning AMC, when you did your TLC, your thin layer chromatography, it was in fact a thin layer of alumina. It's also an effective desiccant. Now a desiccant is a drying agent. It removes water. You actually have little packets of desiccants in 
um, when you buy a new product, you know, that kind of little thing that says do not eat quite often inside a new pair of trainers, that's a desiccant. Although that desiccant isn't alumina, but it does the same thing. It removes moisture, which is to protect the product and prolong its life. If this video was useful then, if it was, please make sure you subscribe and like so you don't miss out on the future videos.